Alright guys, I'm back. This is going to be me pinning uh, the muzzle brake on the project gun, on my brother's project gun. Alright, uh, obviously it's not pinned yet. So, I'm going to show you how, how I would do that. And don't worry guys, this front sight here is not staying. My brother's already looking and getting a new one. So, uh, I don't want this video to be too long like all the other ones. Let me uh, get right back to you, let me set it up in the vise, and I'll show you how I'm going to pin this. Be right back guys. Alright guys, I got uh, the barrel mounted in the vise, and I got the new muzzle brake right here. Alright. I got the new crush washer. Alright. I'm going to slide that on, and you might be, let me zoom in a little bit. There is actually the indent from uh, the last, uh, from the factory when they pinned it. Here's the leftover muzzle brake of the one that I cut off. And I'm actually going to implement that in, in uh, the trial and error of pinning the new one on so I don't mess up the new muzzle brake. So here's the new crush washer. And from watching a couple of videos, odds are I'm probably going to have to do a little sanding or modification to this. To get the muzzle brake to be timed. Now I have the bottom of the rifle or barrel facing up. So now that would mean this flat part here. The big flat part would be facing up. Alright. So now as you can see I did try off camera. And um. You see a little shiny parts that's from the wrench. I'm going to have to get some of that Birchwood uh, KC gun paint or whatever it's called and just touch it up. No big deal. It's not like it's uh, scratched or nothing. The paint just came off. Uh, there's nothing I could do about it. And I would suspect with any wrench it would come off. And another thing, this Armors wrench I bought, really cheap, really sucks. It really sucks. I hate this thing. I'm supposed to be able to use the cutouts here. It don't even come close to fitting on here. So I had to improvise and use a crescent wrench. And that's half the reason why the paint did come off. So as you can see, it's um, it doesn't time out very well. And I'm not going to be, because I tried, I'm not going to be able to time this. Uh, with just forcing it. I don't want to mess up the threads or anything. So courtesy to Pete watching one of his older videos... When he changed the muzzle brake on his, on how he did it, unless you have a peel, oh, there goes uh, my phone, and I got a new phone, so it's a different tone. Um, instead of getting a peel, uh, one of those peel washers, here's the old washer that I had cut off, you can see the marks on it. Uh, you would just take uh, layers of this and just peel it off. You would just take layers and just peel them off, but, you know. It didn't come with that kind of crush washer. So what Pete showed... Wow, you think I'd be prepared? Hold on. And again, I'll use... This is uh, the old crush washer that I cut off. You can see the marks again. What he demonstrated... Because you only need like tenths of a thousandth of an inch or whatever it is. Tenths of an inch, thousandths of an inch. Um... Put it on a flat surface and you just go like this and you can see a nice shiny. It'll actually take some of the crush washer away and make it easier to time the, the muzzle brake. So that's what I'm going to do. Now what's going to make this a little bit more difficult for me is I'm going to try and reuse the old uh, spot that the factory drilled into the barrel so I don't have to drill into the barrel. So i got to do a little bit of measuring. What I'm going to do is once I get this timed on here, I'm going to take a measurement with the crush washer when I know the crush washer works from the face of the crush washer to the center of the hole. And then I'm going to put that, I'm going to make a mark on the here of where I'm going to drill, which is going to be on that flat spot. So once I get that mark, um, I'll be back. So let me uh, play around with this. Let me sand the the crush washer down so I can get it timed and I'll show you that it's timed. Alright guys, be right back. Alright guys, as you can see, um, I do have it timed pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. So, I'm going to leave it like that. 
Um, so I know the crush washer works, and yes, um, when I take the crush washer off, I'll show you. Uh, you're going to see a nice uh, shiny surface on the bottom where I took some of the some of the metal off the crush washer. And this bitch is tight. That's all I got to say. This is really, really tight. So uh, I'm going to back it off. And uh, I'm going to back it off and show you the crush washer and show you the method that I'm going to use to determine where I'm going to drill the hole into the muzzle brake. Alright guys, I got it back in the vise upside down. Um, I already cracked it free. I didn't want to do it on camera. I knock something over and make myself look a fool, like a fool. So here we go. I'm unscrewing the muzzle brake once again. So I know the crush washer works. And you can see you still got some black, but I had to shave down and take the paint off uh, some of the, you know, the concave or the bevel, whatever you want to call it. So I know it works now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slide that back on. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. Um, sorry about that. I had trouble trying to find my rule. There you go. Uh, this is something that I used when I was a mechanic. Uh, when I did engine rebuilds and you had to be very precise, can't really use a tape measure like I would nowadays. So what I'm going to do, uh, this actually covers inches and millimeters. And I'm going to use the inches. And I'm going to keep the washer flush to the, to the end of the barrel there. And I'm just going to measure to the center of the hole. And then what I'm going to do is take this flat spot. Oh, get take this flat spot. This is the bottom of the barrel. I have the barrel upside down. And I'm just going to put a little pencil mark at the same number. So let me just measure this out real quick. Wow, you're talking exactly an eighth of an inch. All right, that's easy enough. That's really easy. Well, it's not easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the barrel out of the vise. I'm going to put the new muzzle brake in the vise. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a little pencil mark. There it is. I'm going to make a little pencil mark at an eighth of an inch, and that's where I know how to drill, where to drill. So now what I'm also thinking about doing here is the stock pin that came out of it. So I know this is the proper steel, the strength, so on and so forth. And but what I want to do first, here's the old muzzle brake. I, I'm not going to do this on camera. I'm just going to drill a couple uh, test holes so I have the right drill bit because I don't want to. I really don't want to fuck up the new muzzle brake. So let me uh, run a couple test drills and see what I could use. I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, this is what I did. Uh, obviously I took the barrel out. I have the muzzle brake right here. I did my test with the drill bits. and uh, What I did was actually the flat spot here. I actually took the center of the flat spot. Made a line straight across. And then I measured from this edge an eighth of an inch forward. And then I made another line which gave me an X. And that's what I'm going to use the drill. I actually have a center punch here that I put on the X and it'll actually make an indent so when I drill the drill bit doesn't walk and scratch up the muzzle brake as long as I do it properly. So what I'm going to do, and again this is another tool from when I was a mechanic. And it makes a little like a little uh, mark that the drill bit could sit in and it's a uh, spring tension and then you got the point there I got a couple different ones so th so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and drill it guys wish me luck doing everything on camera and learning you just gotta get it in the in that Yes, I did. So now I'm going to take this out of the vise real quick, shake these uh, shavings out, 
into the garbage. Hang on guys. Alright, now obviously guys, uh, before I screw this back onto the barrel, I'm actually going to clean out the inside threads with some ballistol and a, and a brush that I can fit in there. Um, probably one of these. Just to make sure the threads are cleared out and I don't have any issues with the threads because that's the last thing I want. Now this is the, the um, pin that I'm going to use. And it's such a tight fit. I can't push it down any further. I'm going to have to tap it in with a punch and that's exactly what I want so that it doesn't come out. It's blindsided and I shouldn't have any issues with that. Alright, so uh, next step I guess is put the barrel back in the vise and let's time this bitch. Let's get it back together and see what we, see what we can do guys. Alright, let me get everything set up. Alright, so now I have my muzzle brake all timed out. Everything is nice and tight. And uh, it's time to get to the actual pinning. So what I have here is uh, one of those long Q-tips. I'm going to just take the end of it and stick it inside the hole. And that's actually going to give me the depth of how far or how long of a pin that I need. Alright, here we go. Alright, now, let's see if we can focus in on this. Now, you're not going to be able to see it, but there's actually a very, very thin line right there. You might be able to see it. That's actually the very edge of my uh, muzzle brake there. So, and that's actually the same, the same uh, length of the stock pin. Alright, guys, there you go. You can see that it's in. But it's not all the way down. So what I'm going to do is take my punch set. Uh, I'm going to take a, a brass punch. And I'm just going to hammer it in. Hopefully it goes, guys. Alright, it went down a little bit. I don't want to slip and... That's up the muzzle brake. Let's see if I could go a little bit further. This sucks. This state sucks. Alright guys. I think that's as far as I'm going to get it. I mean it sticks out. I mean. Just barely. I could take my Dremel and sand that down but. Do you really think I have to? I mean, you can tell it's pinned. It ain't coming out. I'd just like to get a flush. Alright. That's as far as I'm going to get that, guys. I don't think it looks too bad for my first time. So there you go, guys. It's pinned. Uh, like I said, I just got to get some uh, Birchwood... Uh, I think it's Birchwood Kelly paint. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys. And uh, touch up the muzzle brake, and I think it's set to go. Let me uh, zoom out, clean up a little bit, and I'm going to show you a final result of what it looks like. Be back in a sec. Alright guys, here's, so here's the finished product. Um, again, just to go over what we have. The front sights, the, the flip-up sights are not staying. My brother's already looking for replacements because, uh, you know, you can't put the plastic on the gas block. It'll melt, so on and so forth. And you have an ACS stock pinned in the third position, that's what he wanted, the Myad grip, everything's flat dark earth, AFG, the Mo uh, handguard, and the muzzle brake, uh, just pinned that, I believe that was a striker, um, muzzle brake, and just to give you a little bit of a close up, you can see where the paint came off, I mean it's not even, it's not scratched, it just came off, and that's what the muzzle brake looks like. And there's the pin. 
lovely jersey. Now, uh, like I said, I don't know if that needs to be exactly, you know, I mean, it's barely sticking up, but it's enough that my fingernail could grab it, so if anybody knows the exact law on that, if I have to sand that down, let me know. I'll sand it down, no big deal. But I think it's a badass muzzle brake. Can't wait to fire this thing, and hopefully we can get some video of it. So, again, I want to thank everybody that's helped me and answered questions. And I want to thank my brother for giving me an opportunity to work on something and possibly fucking it up. But I don't think I did. And until we shoot it, I guess we'll never know until we shoot it. So hopefully we get it on film. And cross your fingers, guys. Oh, by the way, I also got the uh, trigger guard here. Flat Dark Earth. Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that. Alright guys, that's it. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.